The trial of Ivory Coast ex-president Laurent Gbagbo opened today at the International Criminal Court in The Hague. Gbagbo pled not guilty to four counts of crimes against humanity. He faces charges relating to the more than 3,000 people killed in the civil conflict that erupted after he lost elections in 2010. I-24 News Ezra Taylor has more. Hundreds of supporters of Laurent Gbagbo gathered at the International Criminal Court on Thursday, awaiting the arrival of the former president of the Ivory Coast for his trial on fomenting a civil war that killed 3,000 people. France intervened to put an end to the four-month war. The former president now faces four counts of crimes against humanity and war crimes alongside his co-accused youth leader, Charles Bligoud. Many of the supporters are defiant. It's over. It's the end. There is no more peace for Qatar. I am from Dueku. Dueku. There was a genocide in my hometown. A genocide. It is Soros' fault. But Ben Souda defends him. Supporters also say Bagbo is being punished for standing up to the former colonial power. The case is a test for the Global War Crimes Court whose previous attempt to prosecute a top politician, Kenya's Uhuru Kenyatta, ended in disarray amid a fierce diplomatic lobbying effort from Kenya and its African allies. The court set up 13 years ago to charge the gravest international crimes has so far handed down just two convictions, both of little-known African warlords. This trial, however, only just begins. 